Yeah, just keep making noise, it's all right. <laughs> do you have anything to do other than watch some bald guy making an RV? If you wanna watch, go ahead and watch. If you wanna insult, go ahead and insult, but are you f***ing people for real? <laughs> Going off on the comments. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to Yacht Shop Creations. For all you whiners that keep complaining that I haven't shown you anything about the RV lately, hold on to your panties, we'll get to it. Alright, so it's 2020. Like I said, I'm back here again to show you guys what we're doing on the RV. Had a couple projects, we've been trying to catch up with a few things, so we have some ideas about what we're doing here and we're bringing it back into the fold. So we have this aluminum water tank which sets down into the unit. This is going to be a sub-zero temperature RV at different times, so what we want to do is prevent this tank from freezing. Came up with a simple solution of buying a stainless steel water heater element, which will run on 12 volt, run off the solar panels. And on the back of this, it has several lugs to where you can actually create a larger amount of voltage, create a heat. We think we're gonna need to use one of the elements. So we're gonna mount this into the tank. It circulates, keeps the water warm, stops it from freezing in the tank. So the holder for that started off as a solid aluminum lug and I machined this part out of that. What I did was turn this around so it could be mounted from the inside of the unit. Simply screw it in from here. Screws in like this. Quite nice, beautiful. So what I'm going to do is mount this in and weld it into the side of the box right now. We'll show you what that looks like. So didn't Jeff do a nice job trimming that off? And now, you gotta weld this part in. Nice to have your body double do things for you. You just walk in with your nice shirt on and your little part. Watch how good this goes in. I trained him well. Okay, got a couple little tacks in there to hold it in place. Now I'm gonna crawl back underneath, insert this, just so we can see how it looks. I want this to be as close to the bottom of the tank as we can, so it only takes approximately an inch of water to cover it. So once I make sure everything's good and the right twist, and if my piece is in at just a slight angle, this will actually touch the bottom of the tank, so we don't want that. So let's slide it in, check it, make sure we're good and have clearance everywhere before we solid weld it. That's the money shot. We'll slide a dollar bill underneath there. Ooh, plenty of clearance. Yeah, we can fold a one dollar bill in half and still make it slide underneath there. We might be able to actually get a hundo under. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is marine text all the seams inside the tank. Then we're going to put our two-part tank coating system, coat the whole interior before we drop the lid down and weld that in place. And we're gonna put our double stacking propane tanks in and our hot water heater. We have lots of good stuff for you. I hope this helps everybody have their panties out of a knot right now and you're happy you get to see another video on the RV. You all take care, keep it all good in here, make something cool. We'll talk with you soon.